Ever wondered how computers recognize images? How they distinguish a cat from a dog or a horse from a giraffe? The secret lies in a technology known as Convolutional Neural Networks, or CNNs for short. Imagine you've collected a vast array of images, each labeled with a specific animal category. This collection is your data set, the raw material that will feed your CNN. But before these images can be used, they need some sprucing up. This is where data pre-processing comes in. Images are resized to a consistent resolution, pixel values are normalized, and random transformations are applied to increase the diversity of the data. Now it's time to design the architecture of the CNN. This blueprint consists of the number of convolutional layers, pooling layers, and fully connected layers. The input layer matches the size of the input images. Convolutional layers use filters to extract features from the images, detecting edges, textures, and complex patterns. Pooling layers reduce the spatial dimensions of the feature maps, retaining only the most important information. Fully connected layers are used for making predictions about the image classes. With the architecture in place, the CNN is ready for training. During this stage, the CNN learns to adjust its weights and biases to minimize the difference between its predicted class labels and the actual labels in the training data. This learning process involves backpropagation and gradient descent, which update the parameters of the network. In the output layer, an activation function like the softmax is used. This function converts the raw output scores into a probability distribution over the possible animal categories. Once the training is complete, the CNN is ready for image classification. When a new image is inputted, the CNN processes it through its layers and predicts the animal category to which it belongs based on the learned features. The performance of the CNN is evaluated on a separate test dataset. Metrics like accuracy, precision, recall, and F1 score measure how well the CNN can correctly classify images into their respective categories. Imagine providing the trained CNN with an image of a cat. The CNN processes the image and predicts that it belongs to the cat category with a high probability. This classification can be used for tasks like content filtering, image organization, or even automated image tagging. CNNs are widely used in image classification tasks, where they learn to recognize and classify objects or patterns in images automatically. They're also used in other computer vision tasks, such as object detection and image segmentation, by modifying their architectures and training procedures accordingly. So, the next time you marvel at how a computer can tell a cat from a dog, remember the intricate process of convolutional neural networks at work. It's truly a testament to the power and sophistication of artificial intelligence.